myself and the mountain people feel very bad, very bad, uh, that we punished Uhuru Kenyatta, we demeaned him, we told him off, we embarrassed him for telling us that Raira Odinga is a good man, and we were very, very brutal with him, and we really, really, really hammered him. It has come to our knowledge that it was very unfair. Because his crime was to tell us that oh, Raida Odiga is a good man. And we decided that Raida Odiga is a bad man, William Ruto is a good man. Now that President William Ruto has said Raida is a good man, that is why I apologize to Huru Kenyatta and his family. And I owed him an apology on behalf of the community. Because what he had told us is what the president has told us. We had no business fighting him. We had no business disrespecting him. We had no business humiliating him. Right. So myself and the community, you know, owe Uhuru Kenyatta an apology. And I give that apology on behalf of the community. Okay. You know, and we said, you know, we, we know because that's what he had told us. And, and we were very unfair to him because, so, you know. Knowing what you know today, would you have made a different decision if you knew that in 2022? Well, you cannot talk backwards, <laughs> you know. I, I can't say what we would have done or not done, but things keep on changing. Yeah, but now we are saying everybody is good. You have said that once the king pronounces themselves, the pronouncement stands. Does that mean Uhuru Kenyatta is still the king of the mountain? Oh, yes, yes. You didn't know? Uhuru Kenyatta is the undisputed king of the mountain. And what is your relationship with him? Good. Brotherly. When did you do that? Oh, we talk. You know what happens with our community? We are a very interesting community. We don't fight. We fight very rarely. And when we do, when we realize we fought without a good reason, we patch up. So we what fought. was that? Oh, yeah, yeah. How many we, months ago? Which uh, month? We, which year? Uh, we've been, uh, when we realized we made a mistake, I'm the one who made the first move of reaching out and apologizing because really we were unfair to Uru Kenyatta, you know? You know, we were very, very unfair, you know? Sometime, you know, sometime I really feel very bad that I was Did, so brutal yeah. on a man who was my great friend, my confidant, my brother, my kinsman. I was so brutal on him. And his crime was only one, saying Raila is a good man. And then the man I said, we don't want Raila Odinga, we want William Ruto. Then he comes and says the same thing. I felt very stupid, you know? In fact, another day, a very senior person abused me at the airport and called me stupid five times. And I looked at it, I was very bitter, but I looked at it later at night, and I thought probably he was right. I think I was stupid to fight my own brother, my kinsman, my confidant, for no good reason, for saying another person is a good man. I, I really regret uh, what I did, and my community does regret, and we are all very apologetic to the Kenyatta family. And uh, what happens in my community is a saying that making a mistake is not bad, but repeating is unforgivable. And by the way, let me tell you some. From the experience of my community, myself and the leaders and the whole community fighting Uhuru Kenyatta, our son, a decision has been made by the community. In fact, it's a covenant. Never again, never again shall the people of the mountain ever, ever fight their own. When was that decision made? Ah, you know, the people, the Meru, the Embu, you know, they just talk slowly. That has been agreed on. And that's why you find when a few leaders are being told to fight the Regadi Kashago, they are finding it very difficult. Because a decision has already been made. When? That, like almost a year ago. By who? That, by the community. In what forum? Oh, the, don't, don't worry. There are you millions. Don't, you, don't, you don't know our people. There are millions our of people, people. Our people don't talk in meetings. They have a way of communicating. That is how they drove the British out of this land. You know, by communicating silently. There is a covenant among the Mount Kenya people. Do you that think they will never again, ever, be confused by anybody be used by anybody to fight their own leader. They will never do it. And I also want to tell you, for the avoidance of doubt, for those who are trying to divide the Kikuyu, the Meru, and Embu, it's an exercise in futility. 
those three are one. And finally, they will be one. And you know, we have seen these things happen during the Azimio campaign. Mm -hmm. You use a lot of money, you call meetings, you call MCAs, you call people in tents, you give them money, you persuade them, you do, they take your money. Finally, they make a decision. And you see what they did in 2022. I can tell you, this attempt to divide the Kikuyu, the Embu, and the Meru is an exercise in futility. You can spend billions, you can spend money, you can have meetings, night meetings, in hotels, in where, in what forums. Okay. But finally, the people of the mountain are one, and they will never be divided, and they will not agree. Deputy they have made mistakes yeah. before, yeah. they will not repeat them. Deputy